All right, we're waiting for a law enforcement press conference just starting on the 40 migrants found dead in a big rig truck. Tonight we are dealing with a horrific human tragedy. So I would urge you all to think compassionately and pray for the deceased, the ailing, the families, and we hope that those responsible for putting these people in such humane conditions are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, so this is a federal investigation, um, but I'm going to turn it over to Chief McManus to talk a little bit about the city's initial response. You'll hear from Chief Hood as well. And then uh, Councilmember Rocha Garcia will provide some for our Spanish media. Thank you, Mayor. So I, I want to emphasize that this is preliminary information and it could change. So the first call came in at about uh, 10 minutes to 6 this afternoon. Uh, fire, a, a worker uh, who is, works in one of the buildings up here behind me uh, heard a cry for help, came out to investigate, found a, a trailer with the doors partially open, uh, opened them up to take a look, and found a number of um, deceased individuals inside. So we have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. Um, this investigation has been turned over to HSI. It is now a federal investigation. Turned it over to them about probably two hours ago. But right now we've got three folks in custody. Um, and again, this is all preliminary information. I want to turn it over to Chief Hood. Uh, good evening, Charles Hood, San Antonio Fire Department. Approximately six this evening, San Antonio Fire Department responded to 9600 Quintana Road for a report of a dead person. Engine 52 arrived and uh, found the trailer, as Chief McManus mentioned, uh, with a body outside and, and several that they could visibly see inside once the doors were opened. Um, at this time, we have processed approximately 46 bodies that have been triaged and tagged and uh, declared deceased at this time. Fortunately, we were able to transport 16 people. 12 of those are adults and four pediatric. All of them were conscious at the time upon transportation. Uh, first patient was transported at seven minutes after six, with the last one being transported at uh, 6.57. So a mass casualty with the triage involved, it went very smoothly and very quickly. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. Uh, at this time, we have uh, released all our companies back in service. We use approximately about 60 firefighters, 20 fire engines, and 10 medic units of which we transported uh, to various local hospitals uh, throughout this city. So it is our hope and prayer that the conditions of those that were transported will improve as we speak. Uh, we are currently putting those 60 members through critical incident stress debriefing. Again, uh, we're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. So we're working through the uh, behavioral health for our folks right now. Uh, I'll turn this back over to Dr. Garcia and answer any questions that you may have later. Can you just confirm that the number, the numbers that, that you just gave? Yes, sir. 16 transported, uh, 12 of those adults, four pediatric, and uh, 46 that are deceased. Chief, what were the conditions of those that were transferred? Uh, all heat-related injuries and uh, no fatalities of peds that we know of. Thank you. Buenas noches. Soy la concejal Rocha Garcia del Distrito 4. Y estamos aquí muy tristes. All right, so you've been uh, watching a quick law enforcement briefing on what happened in San Antonio just after 6 o'clock when uh, the fire department first on the scene uh, was responding to a call, 46 people dead inside a semi trailer rig, uh, apparently immigrants, 
uh, illegal immigrants brought into this country. Uh, another 16 people taken, Heather, we just heard that, and four of them are, are children. Well, and so now all the, the fire hospital. crews, yes, as we as we heard uh, from fire officials and police say that all those crews now, for fire anyway, are back, and, and MED are back in uh, service, and so already thinking about addressing the emotional needs that those people will need to have met after seeing what they did, dozens and dozens of people, he said, stacked in the back of this not uncool tractor trailer. Right. No ventilation at all, no water either. So, of course, we're going to continue to follow this during this newscast and Fox 4 News at 10 and, of course, good day in the morning as well. We'll be right back.